What's up, DSM? I'm Elena. I hope you guys all had a great break. And I'm Kara. After news, we'll tell you a little bit about the Black Friday season and uh, where you can find the best deals. Schools in Baltimore are shutting down today and tomorrow due to a random cyber attack and not because of the virus. The whole system has fallen into a random computer breach last week on Wednesday. The Baltimore County S Public Schools, known as the BCPS, are working with their county police department to investigate why and how this had happened. Meanwhile, the BCPS claims this provides much needed time for our staff to continue working to set up the instructional platform and to communicate the next steps regarding devices. While playing with his dog, Major, President-elect Joe Biden slipped and twisted his ankle. His personal doctor, Dr. Kevin O'Connor, says that he has hairline fractures in his midfoot and will need a boot for the next couple of weeks. Major will be the first rescue dog in the White House and will join his sibling dog there, possibly with a cat, after Inauguration Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, starting with a little bit of backstory, today is Cyber Monday, if you guys don't mm -hmm. know. It's like Black Friday, but online. Yep. And the first Cyber Monday was held in 2005, and sales rose to 26% to make $486 million. Since then, the holiday has become international with Can Canada, Austria, India, and Japan all celebrating their own versions of Cyber Monday. Black Friday and Cyber Monday have also sparked other holidays like Small Business Saturday. It was launched in 2010, and it helps draws customers to help smaller local businesses. Some small businesses you can support in Syracuse are Syracuse Soapworks and the Sweet Praxis. Mm -hmm. Let's head over to weather. Today on Monday, it is our warmest day of the week with a high of 48 and a low of 42. So it will be a very cold week with, you know, some breezes and a little bit of rain throughout the day. So very cold week, but we will have some breezes, like I said, and around 7 and 8 rain will develop and continue to go through until the afternoon. Tuesday, we'll have some rain and snow with a high of 44 and a low of 34, so another cold day. Wednesday will be even colder than Thursday, sorry, Tuesday, making it our coldest day of the week with some rain and snow. Thursday will be warmer than Wednesday, but still cold with some sun and mostly clouds. Friday will continue to be around the 40s with some more snow and rain. Saturday and Sunday will be similar temperatures, but Saturday will have a chance of showers and Sunday will have some rain and snow. I'm Grayson with your weather. Cyber Monday news, some major retailers such as Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy, Home Depot, Target, and Macy's have some of the best deals going on. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Walmart has Roku Smart TVs originally for $349.99 for only $289. You can also find KitchenAid mixtures, speakers, Canon products, and robot vacuums all for sale on Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> deals this year are balling. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's head to sports.
In Syracuse news, Jim Beheim admitted that his team should not have played on Friday night. That's Syracuse basketball. <laughs> um, he states that due to the COVID-19 shutdown, his team was not prepared to face Bryant. They won on a close call, 85-84. to 84. In the NFL news, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 27-24. to 24. Sorry. Wide receiver for the Chiefs, Tyree Kill, dominated with 269 receiving yards and three receiving touchdowns. Things have gotten pretty crazy in the NFL. Um, for example, the Denver Broncos have no eligible quarterbacks but are still playing. Um, the Ravens lost half of their starting lineup due to COVID-19. The Steelers are doing well with their COVID, but still have had two games postponed or canceled due to other teams' uh, COVID issues. The Las Vegas Raiders have had much of their starters come from the practice squad yesterday due to their normal starters being taken out because of COVID. And to top it all off, the Lions just fired pretty much their entire coaching staff. With that, I'm John Way Sports. Well, ESM, that's all we have for you today. Hope you can find some good deals this Cyber Monday. From me, Kyra, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a great day.